Hi guys. So what's good, Molly? I just, uh, <laughs> I just think that is so funny. Since watching, um, I think that was the VMAs, and I don't know whatever would Molly Cyrus and um Nicki Minaj. And she called us up checking her when she got to the mic. She was like, so what's good, Molly? <laughs> like, who checks somebody? Like, what gangster style is, it, is she using for to check somebody like Molly? That was just too funny to me. But I'm just heading home, finally. I left work already, went to the doctor to get their second opinion with the, um, from the knot that's on the lower left side of my back and it's not lipoma or however you pronounce it it's just a cyst it's common in women it's just a little hard cyst it's about the size of well he said it's the size of a grape this doctor it's not my regular doctor this is a specialist that i just left and yeah he just made me feel really good like there's nothing to worry about it's common in women you can even google it there's so many different type of cyst and yeah so and I mean he was pressing it and I had to lean forward and lean back lean from side to side sit down stand up so he did a lot of tests you know like um feeling his way around my back and all around the cyst feeling inside and pressing the cyst and you know it's nothing didn't bother me at all no pain so it's all good he just said to i could either have it removed or um let it stay there so but he also said to just watch it you know and um yeah i'm not worried about it at all i think it's nothing i mean i've even went to the doctor before because i found a cyst in my breast all these years later it's still there and you know so it's all good i just wanted to update you guys on that because i did tell you about the doctor's appointment today yeah that's about it i didn't really want to ramble don't have much more to talk about work was work and um oh the doctor's appointment it was hectic when i first got there and I don't know, I guess they got like, like new, I don't know, the receptionists, the nurses that sit up front that, you know, take you in, take your information, first time patient, fill out sheets and stuff. And she had people stuff mixed up, Ugh, sending them hit wrong, send them to the wrong doctor and all that kind of stuff. And then my co-payment, first she charged me a lesser amount than what I thought. But it's not like I was going to correct her. Like, I think I'm supposed to be paying more. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, let her run my card, sign a receipt, whatever, sat down. And she's like, oh, um, Miss Felicia, I'm sorry. I actually was supposed to charge you this much more. I'm like, yeah, your copay is this. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> yeah. But I guess it's like that when you're just now starting off a new job or whatever. Hopefully, she was new to this. I hope she don't make mistakes like this on a regular basis. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I was telling this doctor, he was asking about my weight because I he was looking at my charts. Because, you know, I guess they were waiting for my charts from my regular doctor to get to this doctor. And he was questioning me, like, why are you asking about my weight? And stuff like that. And today, when, well, this morning, my morning weight was 163. Like I say, the other day it was 161. It's just up and down. It's going to be like that. I think I've been doing the, um, like the 16 hour fasting. I've been doing it and didn't even know it. But then I think I was eating after, I, like I ate a, a full meal at one. No, I ate a full meal. Wait, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. So my last meal will be at 6.30 p.m. And so I started counting from 7 o'clock p.m. until 7 in the morning. That's your 12 hours. And then I don't eat again for lunch until a little bit after 11. 
So I just say 16 hours. So that's 16 hours fasting that I've been doing. And I didn't even know it. Like I been remember I've been telling y'all that I've been trying to find something that works for me. And so they works for me because I didn't feel miserable. Don't feel like I've been starving myself or none of that. And that's called the 16 hour fasting. Well, they call it something else. So I'm going to just try to keep up with that regular routine of eating, you know, every day. So, yeah, and then I eat again maybe at 1.30. Well, I skipped that today. I didn't eat again at 1.30 today. And I think right now it's like 3.30. I don't know because I can't see my... I don't want to mess with my screen on the phone. I don't know if it'll mess me up recording or whatever. But I probably won't eat again until 6 o'clock. And if I do, I'm going to get like a small snack in between. Like some munchies. I like peanuts. Honey roasted peanuts. I have a bag of chips at home, so I might get that. I know I probably will get something to snack on in between, might eat some fruit, but I also had grapes. I had grapes earlier after I, when I ate after 11 o'clock, I had grapes. I had some um, mashed potatoes. Yeah, I had cucumbers and three chicken nuggets. So that was my meal after my 16 hour fasting and water. And of course I don't really eat breakfast. So I hadn't eaten anything until after 11. And I'm not weak, I'm just tired if my eyes look like they're about to shut. Just tired, need some sleep. Need some much needed sleep. Cause you know, we still adjusting to this uh, time change, so. I'll get home and get in a little power nap before I have to leave back out and run some errands. And I'll check back with you all later. If I don't um, get back on later, it'll probably be tomorrow because I do need to get some sleep. And thank y'all for watching.